In this video, we're going to learn how to replace a range of items in a Python list. So if we have a list in Python, say for example, a list of letters, we can replace a range of items in this list. So right now, each item in this list is at an index. So for example, this string A here is at the index zero, B is at the index one, C is at the index two, and D is at the index three. Now we can replace a single item at an index with the syntax letters at the index one is equal to X. And this is going to replace the item at the index one, the string B, with the string X. We could output letters to verify this. We'll have here print letters. And if we save the program and run it, then we'll get a, X, C, D, and B has been replaced. We can actually replace a range of items using the slicing syntax. So for example, we could have here one colon three. This represents the range of items from the index one up until, but not including the index three. So it's going to be these two items here. We could then supply a list on the right hand side of the assignment operator so we could have here X and Y. What's going to happen is B and C are going to be replaced with X and Y. We'll save this and try it out. And we get here A, X, Y, D. If there are more items in the replacement item list, then there are items in the list which are being replaced. The remaining items in the list are going to be shifted down. So for example, if here we had X, Y, and Z to replace the items B and C, D is going to be shifted down. We'll save this and try it out. And we'll get here A, X, Y, Z, and D. If there are fewer items in the list of replacement items, then there are items in the list being replaced. Then the remaining items in the list are going to be shifted forward. So for example, if here we had only X, and then if we save the program and try it out, then we'll get AXD and D has been shifted forward. Now one is what's called the start index. Three is what's called the stop index. We can also have a step value. So if we had here zero colon four, this would be the range of items from the index zero up until, but not including the index four. So that would be A, B, C, and D. We could also have here though, colon two, and this would be the step value. It's the number of indexes to skip ahead when selecting each item in this range. So here, for example, we'll select the item at the index zero, then we'll skip ahead by two and we'll select the item at the index two. What we could do is have X and then Y here. And now A is going to be replaced with X and C is going to be replaced with Y. We'll save this and try it out. And we get X, B, Y, D. So this is how we can replace a range of items in a list using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.